Hello students. So in this video, I will discuss about the divergence angle and the angular spread. So let's start this video. So we are talking about laser divergence angle of a laser. As we have seen that direction, laser is highly directional, means it moves in a straight line. But when it is pointed to a very far object, there will be some divergence occur in a laser. Means if it is pointed to a very far object, there will be some light which is bent away from its path. Means there will be some divergence occur. See, if this is the laser and here is the object to the plane where we want to focus the laser and that is too too far. So there it will not go in a straight path. It will diverge to some angle. So it will be pointed like this. When it is pointed to very far object, this object is very very far. Then the source of light. See, what is this divergence angle is? To what extent it will diverge? So that divergence angle d theta was simply represented by theta. Let's take it theta. So that is called divergence angle or the angular spread. See, this is our source of light which is laser. So this angular spread or which is also called divergence angle. So divergence angle is represented by that is given by 1.22 lambda by d where d is the diameter of aperture. So the light source is having certain diameter. So this laser light, light source is having certain diameter that is called diameter d stands for diameter of aperture or aperture diameter and lambda is the wavelength of a light lambda is the wavelength of a laser or the wavelength now so this is our angular spread or the divergence angle if this angle is pointed on a certain surface so how it will be produced this will be a three dimensional image so the if it is a plane perpendicular and the laser is falling so how it will be spread in all the directions so it will spread in three dimensional geometry. Now the circular spot will be formed. So at the image point, a circular surface or the spot will be produced. That is called angular spread. It will have certain, this is the circular area, region which is produced because of the, because laser is focused on that. That the figure which is generated is a circular, is a circle. Now this circle has certain diameter as well as the area. So that area is called this area is called aerial spread. So this aerial spread. Now let's take this triangle. In this triangle, if the if the <coughs> distance is let's take L is the distance of object from this source. This is the our destination. So total distance is L. Now aerial spread. What is this area is given? First calculate the radius, if we can calculate the radius, see what is the radius of this aerial spread from this triangle, this angle is theta angular spread and this is r is the suppose radius and this is l which is the distance. Now in this triangle tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base that is equal to r by l. Now r is the radius of a circular support. So <coughs> for small theta for small value of theta tan theta is also same as theta so that can also be written as theta l equal to r that is the radius so area is given by area of a circle this is nothing circular spot is a circle so area of circle is given by pi r square where r is the radius of this so pi theta l whole square this is nothing but a aerial spread or the area of circular spot if the diameter is asked so we will first calculate the radius and twice of radius is nothing but a diameter of a circular spot. So two points to be remember. One is the angular spread of a laser and second is the aerial spread or the circular spot diameter that is us. So remember these two formulas. If you remember the divergence angle and the aerial spread or the area of circular spot. Thank you.